Kyle here again from the 5AM Gamers, and um, this is another Halo Reach commentary. A few things before we start is, um, if I'm not doing so good in this gameplay, is because recently I haven't been on the Xbox, like, too much, so I've been playing Reach as much as I am, and I just, felt like they say, like, practice makes perfect and stuff, so, obviously, I haven't been, like, playing, so I'm I, pretty bad, which actually brings me to what I'm going to be talking about today is, um, how I got better some things that you might not know that are really easy to make you get better at uh, Halo and just all around things you can do to get better at Halo well it was about midway through 2011 and um, I was still like a captain and right now I'm a general grade 4 if you guys didn't know and um, I was uh, my friend was starting this clan and I really wanted to be in it and he said well to get in the clan you have to be at least lieutenant colonel so, I absolutely try-harded the game until I eventually I got to a lieutenant colonel. And then, obviously, the second I got in the clan, pretty much like a few days later, the clan shut down. So, it just kind of shows you not to really join clans, because clans are kind of stupid, but I'm in one right now, so, it, you know, whatever. Um, but, a lot of things people don't know, and surprisingly, well, a lot of you do know this, but surprisingly, a lot of people don't know about the daily challenges, about the weekly challenge, and a lot of the easy ways to do the weekly challenge and the daily challenge. Like, like I was talking about in my very first commentary, some of the things are just so easy to do, you just really gotta think about, well, can I, can I twist the words of the challenge and do it in a different game type with a different weapon or something like that. So yeah, so I just absolutely try hard did it. For like four weeks straight, I did all the weekly challenges, I did pretty much all the daily challenges, and, uh, yeah, so then, um, whatever, yeah, I just, I ranked up really fast, and another, I also looked up on YouTube how to get better at Halo Reach, and a lot of the times, the reason you'll see me playing SWAT is because that was a way that I trained myself to always aim for the head, like, because that's how you mainly get kills in SWAT, aiming for the head. That's why I always go to SWAT. Now, a lot of the times in this gameplay, I wasn't doing as good because I haven't played, like I said, I haven't played in a while, so I'm not really, I'm not really, like, used to the controls. I've been mostly playing Battlefield 3, which actually, um, there's gonna be a Battlefield 3 commentator, commentary later on, so, um, do be sure to check that out. I'll put a link to that in the description, actually. Um, oh yeah, so as I was saying, um, yeah, after, after a while of just telling yourself to, like, look at, aim for the headshot, aim for the head, aim for the head, aim for the head, you'll eventually, you'll get really good at aiming for the head. That's why if you look at my earlier gameplays, I'd snap and just take a shot and automatically, I'm not, like, trying to brag and saying, oh, I'm, like, amazing at Halo, because I'm really, I'm not that good, but, um, practice does make perfect, and, um, another really easy way to think about getting a kill in just regular multiplayer with a DMR and a lot of people don't know this. They think it takes usually like two whole clips of the DMR just to kill somebody. Really? It only takes five shots of the DMR to get a kill. Because four shots to weaken the shield and one headshot. And you always have to aim for the head. You just gotta tell yourself. If you're not that good and you're like trying to get better at reach, just think. Always aim for the head and you'll pretty much always get the kill. Also, you wanna strafe. Strafe is moving back and forth. Like, moving back and forth, jumping and going back and forth, uh, not, not back and forth, like side to side, back and forth, and jumping up and down. And like, it might be a little hard to keep your aim, but you just gotta, just, like I said, keep practicing, go on SWAT, try that out for a while, and then eventually just adapt over. And another way is just, what you do is maybe start out during the beginning of the day, playing like a few games of SWAT, just so you can tell yourself to aim for the head, aim for the head, don't forget to aim for the head. And, uh, yeah. Um, uh, also, people also think, like, it takes, like, four clips of the assault rifle, or the, whatever it's called, I don't know the name by heart, but they think it's, like, four clips of the assault rifle just to get one kill. And really, as long as you're aiming at the head and you stay close, and you don't let the reticle extend too much, it only takes one clip of the, um, of the automatic gun just to get one kill. And over the past few weeks, I've been trying to get is the good at this, and then recently I just stopped playing because I got like four games and I'm just, 
I'm just kind of getting... It's like when you do something too long, you get tired of it. I'm kind of getting just like, uh, Taylo reaches the same thing over and over again. And I'm not, per se, just tired of it. I just need, like, a break of it for a while. So, for the next few gameplays of Reach, if I'm not doing amazing, I'm sorry about that. It's just that I've played Reach pretty much... I played Reach for every day for at least three months straight. And after a while... Uh, it just kind of is just like, you know what, I just need to take a break from this, try out other games, and I'm not going to stop the commentaries, don't worry, don't think that, because I'm going to keep the commentaries coming one every other day, except for on the weekends, and, um, yeah, so just, just bear with the commentaries if they're not the best, and, um, be sure to look out for the Battlefield 3 commentator la commentary later on tonight, be sure to comment, tell us your ideas, subscribe, definitely, and, um, even favorite if you really like it, um, like it. It always helps us out and lets us know you like what we're doing. And um, I guess I will see you guys in the Battlefield 3 commentary. There will be a link down in the description. And I love your faces. Goodbye. Game over.